Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the Screencast Keys plugin for Blender 2.83. So let's go ahead and open up Blender software. And we'll click general like usual here. General. So we've got a general scene set up. And let's minimize this and open up the web browser. I'm going to go to this website and I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description so you can get to this same page. And we'll click Screencast Keys zip file here. Let's download the zip file and we will just drag and drop that zip file into this folder here and close down the web browser let's go ahead and open up blender again and we'll go to edit preferences inside preferences we'll click add on here the add on tab and we'll click install and then we'll go to my desktop screencast keys is here and we'll select the screencast keys and click install add-on it will take a few seconds and once that's done, you'll see the options pop up here. You need to tick it off, right, to enable it. So just make sure you tick it off and then close it. So there's two ways to access the screencast keys. There's a little arrow here in the corner. You can click that and it will expand. But if you try and remember the shortcut key N, the letter N on your keyboard, you can press N or you can click the little arrow here. And inside here, you're going to see a new tab called screencast keys. We'll click that. And you can play around with these options here, but in general, if you tick this option at the top here, and then you start to, I don't know, uh, let's say we press Shift and A, you'll see Shift A written here. But for me, it's too small, so I like to make it a lot bigger, right? So something like this sort of size, maybe around 30. So when I start to middle mouse click, you'll see middle mouse, middle mouse click twice, three times, zooming in and out with the mouse wheel. And when you're making tutorials or you're trying to explain something, it's nice to have the screencast keys here because the way that I pronounce words might not necessarily be understood by everyone. Uh, not that my English is that bad, but um, you know, uh, it just makes life easier, especially when people don't. You know, English might not be their first language, and you're making tutorials in Blender. It's nice that people can see the keys that you're pressing uh, and what actions you're performing in order to, um, you know show that during a tutorial so that's what i use i use the screencast keys the only other thing i do is maybe set the color to something else maybe something that stands out a bit more uh, maybe like a red color might be good but personally i like to use green because green kind of stands out quite well uh, on the screen it's a dark background so you want a nice sort of color that will show well right so that's how you go about installing screencast keys one thing that i'll note to you that is if you close down the browser let's just say we close it down and we reboot um, blender and we'll click general and then we start to middle mouse click you'll see the screencast keys are not displayed so you must open up the software or open up this tab go to screencast keys and tick this option at the top here tick it only when you tick it will the screencast keys be enabled right so just make sure you remember that so if you're closing and open your software later screencast keys are not working you every time you open the software you have to enable it first all right Okay, so let's go ahead and close down the web uh, blender here. That's the end of this tutorial, nice and simple. That's how you install screencast keys onto Blender 2.83. I hope you find this tutorial useful. One quick note, if you open up your web browser, and if you get a few minutes, why not go and check out my new website? So go to dcpweb.co.uk. I'll put a link to that. You can see a lot of the work that I do in web development, but more importantly, you can go to my blog, and when you go to my blog, click on the drop down, you can go to Blender 3D tutorials. You see lots of tutorials that I've added here. I'm going to be adding lots more as well. Some exclusive tutorials as well that you won't find anywhere else. If you enjoy using GIMP, you can see all the GIMP software tutorials. You can click here and you can go to infographics and see lots of infographics. All the video tutorials that I've added. Um, and I'm going to be adding lots, lots, lots more content to my uh, blog here as well. So this is going to become a good place for resources for people to learn from. It's all about sharing knowledge here. Let's close down the web browser. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.